Pope Francis on Wednesday urged faithful to pray for peace in the world. I received the statistics of the deaths in Ukraine. It's terrible. War is unforgiving. War is a defeat from the start, he told the crowds gathered for his weekly audience in St. Peter's Square. He also called on people to pray for all those affected by conflict, including people in Gaza and Israel. Let us all pray for peace together, he said. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian and Russian soldiers have been killed since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in 2022. Hamas-led militants killed some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducted another 250 when they stormed into southern Israel on October 7, 2023. Around 100 hostages are still inside Gaza, a third of whom are believed to be dead. Israel's offensive has killed over 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health officials, who don't distinguish combatants from civilians but say more than half the dead are women and children. Fratelli e sorelle, preghiamo per la pace. Oggi, presto al mattino, ho ricevuto le statistiche dei morti in Ucraina. È terribile. La guerra non perdona. La guerra è una sconfitta dall'inizio. Preghiamo il Signore per la pace. Non dimentichiamo la Palestina che sta soffrendo attacchi inumani. Non dimentichiamo Israele. E non dimentichiamo tutte le nazioni che sono in guerra. C'è una cifra, fratelli e sorelle, che deve spaventarci. Gli investimenti che oggi danno più guadagno è nelle fabbriche di armi. Guadagnare con la morte. Preghiamo per la pace tutti insieme. A security camera about a half mile away caught the moment when a tour helicopter crashed into a Houston radio tower and burst into flames, killing all four people aboard. Officials said the helicopter crashed just before 8 p.m. on Sunday in a neighborhood east of downtown. It had taken off from nearby Ellington Field. Officials said no one on the ground was injured. Some vehicles were damaged by no nearby homes were. The National Transportation Safety Board says it's investigating the crash of the Robinson R-44-2 helicopter, which preliminary information shows was operating as an air tour flight.